Beauty. Look at that, Maggie. Looks like dinner to me. And I think I'm going to set it up right there. I can't believe I caught that fish. That was fun. Get our potatoes in. And we'll get the cast iron pan going. Beautiful. I think I can put my potatoes in now. Everybody's having their dinner except for me. Oh yeah. And then we'll go ahead and get our trout set on there. And we'll cover it up. That evening light is just beautiful. Let's try to get those bones out. There we go. That's how we want to do it. There we go, perfect. Hopefully we can just lift out the skeleton. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Oh, that beautiful trout. Let's cover it up while I get my lemon. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Ooh, look at that beautiful trout meat. Mm. Man, that sure is good. Maybe he can smell the potatoes. Mm. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looks about perfect. Ooh, ooh, man, this looks good. Mm. Well, I'm hungry too.
Hmm. That turned out great. On top of our pedestal, just like that. Load it right up. Get some fat on the pan. Set my beef aside and let it rest. Cool the pan down a little bit. The deglaze. Salt. Potatoes are always hungry for salt. Pepper as well. Drop my beef in there. We'll cover it up. Some pretty dark clouds were rolling around, so I decided I better be prepared. The temperature's been right around 160 inside the oven. You can see it's just a very slow simmer. Good girl. I am so hungry. So it'll stay nice and warm. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? I love what rosemary does for beef. Mm. Do a little extra butter on them. We'll put the lid on. All right. Start a fire on top. Get the charcoals going a little better. Ooh, just starting to get brown. I think my cinnamon rolls are done. Let's take a look. Hoo hoo hoo, look at those beauties. No, Maggie, go on. This isn't for dogs. I'll have dessert for breakfast again. Mm. Wow, that's good. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, look at that, perfect. Yeah, those are good. Check out this steak. Oh yeah, there we go. To get a really thick steak like this cooked nicely, you really have to cover it up. I'm gonna move it around a little bit. Feels good. 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. 
get our steak out, render that fat. Beautiful thing about steak and eggs is when you can cook your eggs in the steak fat, then your eggs taste like steak. I'm gonna put a little Hakata spice on my eggs. My fire is burned down to hot coals, so this will be the perfect temperature if I just cover it. Okay, good go. Breakfast is served. This has gotta be one of my top breakfasts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I ask you. you get every Let's put our lid on. Mm -hmm. See how these pans lock together? Yeah. The little, the little cool. bumps. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? And you can pick up both pans. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could do that. All right, let's take a look at these cinnamon rolls and see how they're doing. See if you can get under an edge. Ooh, they Ooh, look perfect. They're brown. Yeah. See about this side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, let's take them off the heat. Yeah, definitely. We'll just let them work. Pick up the whole thing. Move it over here off the heat. Okay, we can smell those cinnamon rolls. That usually means we better check it. Ooh, 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 look at that. Let's make sure they don't burn in on the bottom. Oh, the bottom is beautiful. I think I can just pick them up. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of cream cheese frosting. Holy smokes. That's what we want. Here, do this one. Oh yeah. Those are good. There we go. And a mag. <laughs> they all got two chunks. They were very happy. Perfect. Let's see under them. Maybe just flip it all the way over. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. I pre-made this sausage roux mixture. Probably more than we need. So I'm gonna put in, let's start with about half. There we go. thinking I would just eat right here in this pan. Our lovely biscuits. I've got that crunchy crust from how brown the bottom's got. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Go. Biscuits and gravy time. Yeah, we 
that crown clipper. I found that five crowns one in here, and I, I don't know how to do that one. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah. Good girl, Megan. Eh? Oh, Whoa. beautiful! Nice. Success. I mean, last yesterday's hike, it was good, but that sand, I'm, I'm pretty sore. Maybe I'll have you out. And then we'll flip the one on top of the other. Ooh. Oh, that's hey. beautiful. Oh, that looks really good. Nice. All right. It was the top that was more brown? This it? is the. This is the. Louisiana, Delaware, Florida, Kansas. We're gonna do a roast, but I'm just gonna be really lazy about it. And I'm just gonna put it in on top of the sausage fat. So juicy. So that should be good. For three days. We've built up the fire again. Open it up in a while and see what we got. This has only been running for about 10 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it so I can kind of sear both sides. We got lots of heat on the bottom where that pork fat is from our sausage. Let's just see if I can get it pulled up. It's kind of stuck. Oh, wow. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> We're gonna add some beef broth soup. <laughs> and some French onion soup. <laughs> the roast has been running for an hour and a half now. I'm just gonna take a look. Woohoo! Look at it go. Pretty babies. We're at three hours. Still has just a beautiful simmer going. Use printing after the speedy cat springer either. It was very small, about the same size as the lens. I think it will be unfathomable. Get this out. This is going to cool everything down quite a bit. Let's see, I could probably turn this over too. Look at that. Wow. Okay, I'm going to lift this up. And I'm going to put the veggies in the bottom. There we go. The roast has been cooking for five hours and it turned out awesome. Transfer it into this pan because it'll be easier. You just don't want to lose any of this preciousness. But yeah, this meat is just going to fall apart. Look at that, Emma. That looks really good. Oh my gosh. So nice. And then the potatoes and carrots are just cooked to absolute perfection. I'm going to kind of scrape so I get all the goodness out of here. Serve the meat from that dish and serve the veggies from this dish. And I'm going to set this down here so that I can kind of shred this up so everybody can kind of get a portion. Yeah, you can see this, it just falls apart. Look at that. Wow. I think this is the best roast I've ever cooked. Definitely turned out nice. We have six people to feed. I think this was going to be plenty for us. Ash is like, I want the serving. That's awesome, man. Oh yeah, those veggies look awesome. They're like they're almost caramelized looking. Let's go ahead and cover it up and let's uh, put some hot coals around it. 
we'll just do a small pile. So let's try that. Here's a nice big hot coal. I'm gonna put big ones on the ends and maybe not much in the middle. Then I'll put some coals on both sides. I can always add more, but I can't unburn my bread. Let's put a little bit on the ends. Let's see how things are looking. Okay, it's definitely coming up, but I feel like we need a little bit more heat. back in five minutes. Been five more minutes. Let's take a look. Okay, it's just starting to brown a little bit. I let that run just a little bit longer, so we're at about 35 minutes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, smells so good. Look at that beauty. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Let's see if I can cut this without smashing it. Oh, look at that. So tender. Oh, get some butter. excited this smells so good my butter is kind of cold hoo 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 look at that beautiful stuff oh yeah baby time to try this out mm. man that's good it's a cast iron pan that the firebox fits into. You could hold the firebox and all of its accessories within. It goes in there just like that. I'm going to cook my breakfast on this. Okay, the fire is dying down. You can tell by the way the bubbles move under the egg that it's not sticking. I think that's ready to turn. Oh, look at that. This is turning out beautifully. Ugh, gentle, gentle. I would say that's good to go right there. Much more salt and pepper. All right, so the egg test went really, really well. I couldn't have hoped for better. Mmm, that's good. That's a pretty thick old pancake. Well, that's such a thick pancake, I think I will cover it up. Let's take a look. Let's turn it over. Nice. Let's put a little butter on it. Hoo hoo hoo, look at that beauty, huh? Mmm, mmm. Mmm, what's next? Mm. So good. That bacon's looking pretty perfect to me. 
see what the other side looks like. Oh yeah, it's done. Mm. Beautiful bacon. We'll put our steak on. This is a steak that I trimmed up for my last trip where I was grilling on the Nano. We'll have a piece for me, one piece for Junie, and a piece for Ash. I'm just gonna put a couple of sticks in just to kind of maintain a flame in there. He seems to be working really well. Flip this over. Some nice grill marks. Let's set that steak aside so it can rest. Let's go ahead and turn it over. A little bit of Pam. Pick up a little more of that soot. Let's see, I'm just going to cut it from this side. Ooh, that looks really good. Just the right amount of pinkness. That's pretty nice. Let's see if we can do another sunny side up. Or another uh, over easy, I guess, is what this is. That's delicious. All right, so there we have an over easy egg. So we'll go ahead and have steak and eggs. Testing new products is awesome. Hoo hoo hoo. Mm. Wow, that's good. Let's see how it did as far as protecting the wood from getting burned. Yeah, it did good. So the only burn we have is right here was where I dropped a coal, you know, out of the front of the firebox. It was sitting right here. And I dropped a coal out and I, I wasn't thinking about it and I just let it sit there and burn. 